What's up guys and welcome back. Okay, so this one we're going to be going after all the rock carvings. This is called Geology for Beginners. And this is going to require you to locate a whole bunch of rock carvings scattered around the lands as it is. And to initiate the quest we're going to head down just to the west of Strawberry. And right here you're going to find this very interesting fellow. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll dry up. See, I'm a... Uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing of me. Eh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. These little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and... You'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you... No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. John Marston. Pleasure. But I don't understand. What are you going to do with these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It, eh, but, hey, what harm could it do? <sighs> what a lunatic. Yeah, lunatic or genius. So initially I wanted to turn around and go back into the house and have a little poke around. But uh, even after returning, when, once I've completed all the rock carvings, I still can't get into this place. I'm not sure if you can, but there's no way I'm gonna say that you can't. Okay, cracking off. The first one's going to be up in the mountains. This is going to be in Amberino. Just above the Grizzlies' word. Mount Hagen. Now I tried to get some sun on this, but uh, it never worked. Right, first one in the bag, or notebook as it is. Next one is going to be Amberino as well, more central. And this is going to be just to the left of a waterfall, or on the left hand side of the river, should I say. It's going to head down next to it, and it's going to be just on our left hand side up here. Right, number two done. Now remember guys, there is a timeline in the description, obviously, for all the shortcut needs. So the next one's gonna be, again, it's just outside of Amberino, I think, no? Yep, just outside the river, south of the river. Just by the Cumberland. This one, once you get to that log on the left-hand side there, then head straight into the woods and go slightly right and you're going to hit the cliff face where you have the bridge in the background and then turn left, follow the side of the mountain and you should be gold. And there we have it. Okay, next one's going to be in the north of New Hanover, so just south of the river again. In this area. It could be Amberina, I think the river is the divide. So just north of Fort Wallace should be your pinpoint. We're going to head all the way up to the top and then filter around to the other side, and it's going to be sitting right there. Now something very cool happened when I was trying to get a good thumbnail for this video. I wanted the sunlight to be hitting the carving and get a good screenshot like that. 
and then something happened which I thought was pretty cool. So if you want to skip it, it's about 30-35 seconds after I get the carving, you can use the description to go to the next one. Otherwise, just check this out, it just takes a couple of seconds. So I've got the carving and I thought, okay, well, the sun is right there. Let's wait a little bit and see if it moves up onto the rock face and you can actually see it moving. So I'm just going to fade to the next clip. So at this point, I'm fast forwarding it and as it hits the sun, it lights up, just illustrating the winged man. And I thought that was pretty damn cool. Now the bottom right looks like someone's drawing it. Yeah, love these little things. So awesome just to be able to see something like that as well. You would never think it's something you'd look for, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, next one is going to be in New Hanover as well. Let's say above the N, the second N of New Hanover. Just below Moonstone Pond. Right over there. Once you get to the large outcrop there, there's a smaller outcrop next to it, and that is where your pyramid sculpture or carving is going to be. And I've got, uh, just for information, I've got an insane lightning compilation coming up. Um, I was storm chasing. Every time I play, I just do storm chases uh, whenever there is a storm available. And I've got some crazy lightning shots which you got to check out. So stick around if that kind of thing interests you because it is pretty bloody amazing. Okay, next one's going to be just northwest of uh, Annisburg or north of the word, if you will. Just between the A and the N. Not of Annisburg, but the Renook, I think it's called. Okay, this is going to be just on the left-hand side here. Very creepy music. And I want to do a video on those strange voices people are talking about in the forest. That is definitely going to be done today. Okay, there is the rock carving right there. Again, apologies for no sunlight on it, but I'm pretty sure you'll get it. Okay, next one is going to be by the, I think it's the Elysian Pool, New Hanover, between the A and the R, or the E and the R, should I say. Yeah, and this is where the Poison Pond is going to be, with the original zombie perch I thought I pulled out of that pool. Every animal around here has mangy, mangy squirrels, foxes, fish. But on the right hand side up here, you're going to see it glowing. The biggest one of the lot. Pretty cool. It's like, how the hell did you miss that every time you came past here? Although I'm playing it very differently now, trying to find all those animals without using any guides. Okay, next up, we're going to be further down south, southwest of Valentine and northeast of Flatneck Station, northwest, should I say? Just in this middle area here, we're going to find the next one. It's going to be up on the mountain. You can see it between the pines there. So I think they're pines. It'll be a different type of fur. But this does not matter. We're going to head up here and we're going to check out this carving. And I love the uh, time travel associated with this video or this. Uh, this stranger mission it's absolutely awesome just absolute complete mystery no one knows what's happening yet makes you wonder about DLC and that kind of stuff there's still so much to do and to search okay now we're gonna be up in the mountains and this is where you're gonna find the giant bones and I'm gonna do another video solely on that as well how curious that case is giant or Yeti got a massive hole in his skull unfortunately but you run right past him on the way to this rock carving and there's some strange stones floating that's as pretty much as bad as Red Dead Redemption 2 glitches go a couple of floating rocks and sometimes uh, your knife can go but tits up when you're doing some crafting it kind of flies around your head and I've also got a video on every glitch I've encountered since I started playing this so that kind of thing I want to release at a much later stage okay there is the next carving Coming up to the final last couple, or the last one I think it is. Um, 
number 10 is next here. Awesome view. Look at that. Okay, the finale is going to be all the way in West Elizabeth, west of West Elizabeth, as well as Strawberry. Just the start of that lake, or Wangila, I would say. Who knows? We're going to go down to where that beaver mark is, beaver icon, and it's going to be just in the distance down there. I got a fright. I thought I was going to be pulled down the river. I didn't realize it would be so deep. Okay, follow the edge. And you're going to get it. I need that beaver so badly now. <laughs> I see how that sounds, but uh, the perfect pelt beaver, if you will. Jeez, I think if that even sounds, <laughs> that sounds better. Anyway, the rock carving is what we're doing here. Is going to be right ahead of us. Nice save there. There we go. Okay, now we're going to have all 10 in the notebook. From then, we can go to the nearest post office and we can mail it. Right, so off we go. The nearest post office and you can send mail. Then you need to wait two days. Although I did wait two days and I came back and only got the rock statue and the other rewards that he gives you. Or she gives you. And uh, then I had to come back even later, maybe three days, even four days. And then the invitation was there to go and meet him back in the same place, which was very weird. So there we go. The bourbon, ten bucks and the rock statue. Not sure what it does yet. Then I had to go camp again. And then you get the notification. Let's probably wait for the second notification before heading back. Don't be Once you got that one, well, there she is. Yeah, okay, and this requires you just to go back to the beginning at the start. Mr. Francis Sinclair. There it is. Just click the reward is left. That is going to be where we started, like I said, in West Elizabeth by Mr. Foxy there. Okay, we get back and then this happens. Sorry for intruding. Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I was looking for your husband. My husband? He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband Francis is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband Tom is dead. I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? It ain't important. Excuse me. So there we go. If you were paying attention at the start, you realize the baby over there was the one that gave you the quest. And there's plenty more information about this on the internet to check that out. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end. Thanks for watching, grabbing all your rock carvings and grabbing the rock statue, even though we don't quite know what it's for yet. Well, I don't, at least. So I want to say thanks so much for watching, guys, and I want to catch you on the next one.